Hi everyone, Siege back here, and welcome back to another Monster Train Tethys tutorial video. So, last run, uh, we did an Umbra Stygian run, wherein we hit hard with Perils of Production. Now, this time around, of course, it's still going to be Tethys. But it's going to be with melting this time around. So default stitching, default melting. Let's see what kind of weird nonsense can Tethys pull up today. So we are going against these Talos, Curse Arcus, and Sap Seraph with Titan's Gratitude, Wicklash for scaling, which is good. And Titan's of Titan's Tooth, actually. I was going to say Titan's Offering, but I guess I saw Titan's and Offering at the same time and made up that weird word there. So, we are having how many temples this run? It's going to be one and two, or sorry, ring two, ring three, ring six, and ring eight. So there's a void of temples in the mid game. So either we do it on ring 3, the latest, or have to wait until ring 6 to do the infusion. So that's something to consider again here. Vortex with Steel Shop ring 8. Hellvent with Magic Shop opposite that. Trinket Shop with Double Money middle with Caves. Good Trinket Shop, we can take advantage of that. Decent Steel Shop with Vortex on ring 7. Ring 6 is Magic Shop with Vortex, opposite our second dupe of the run with Horde and some money. Ring 5, Magic Shop with Cave, Steel Shop with Vortex, opposite that. Ring 4 is a No Shop um, Generation with a Stygian Banner on the left side with Horde Removal, opposite a, rem a Vortex, sorry, a dupe with Health and Money. Ring 3 is another double shop, Steel Shop with Pyromains, opposite Magic Shop with Remnant Banner, and a Force Remnant Banner on Ring 2 with the Steel Shop, opposite a Magic Shop with some boons here. So again, it's going to be a hard Tethys run, probably, unless we can navigate this well enough. So, Chillwind or Conduit Tethys. We have Dregs. So I think it's probably going to be Chill Wind Tethys here just because we don't have enough spells to benefit Conduit Tethys here. Let's check the Horde. Ooh, a Flicker Slicker. I think I'm going to grab that. These two are both Ember Relics. However, since we do have Dregs in the run, I believe Flicker Slicker can provide us with more value than Hell's Banners here. grab that now the question is do we grab this horde and i think the answer to that is a big big no i think yeah i'm fine at seeing that horde let's move on we do have the capabilities of going to the magic shop here just because we have a good holdover target in wicklash but let's see um can we take this unit draft here hmm plus four without backline access is a bit scary i'm considering turning this off because i think we'll take too much damage here I mean, Apprentice of Light might even get damage shield in it. Having additional HP, I don't think. Or additional damage, I don't think is a good recipe for victory, but a recipe for disaster. So let's turn this off. Hmm. A Dreg and a Wicklash. Oh, that's weird. Let's play Train Steward, Dreg, Wicklash, and Tethys. Change toward middle. Hmm. Nothing I can do about this but double frozen lands. 
And I think I am gonna drop double dregs behind. Double dregs bottom and a titan's gratitude on this apprentice of light. Okay, you're getting away with this with no damage taken so far. Um, another Wicklash, I'll play it on my Dreg in the back. And then Frozen lands into Titan's Gratitude here. I don't have backline access, so that's a bit concerning. Play a Train Steward on top. Frozen lands the boss. Uh... Hmm, I might be able to hit on Titan's Tooth. Oh, gear. Without that hit, we would have taken so much damage here, but we were lucky and high rolled into that. Good, good, good. I don't want a second Titan's Gratitude. Um, I don't want a Crypt Builder here. I'd rather stick with my guns right now, so it's skip. Ooh, Molded. Although Entombed Explosive is nice, it goes with um, the Remnant Banner, I mean the Steel Shop. So I, I think I'd rather take the Molded here. Gives me a reform to recycle the dregs. Um, I don't have too much money to visit this shop right here. Well, I can visit it, but I'll probably not be able to get some good upgrades just because I don't have money. But the magic shop... The magic shop is serviceable. I could reroll that and see a holdover. And then... Problem is I don't have a unit. I could visit this banner right here and grab my unit from that location. But the minus ones, a possible holdover on Wick Clash with a reroll, I think is a bigger value here on the left side. Even though I skip out on a remnant banner here, I will go left here. I might regret this decision, but so far, spinning this, a double stack. Not too happy with what we've got here. Although a minus one on that wick clash is good. Just so that we have a possible X5 here. Do I see a spell chain? No. A plus 30 on a titan. Uh, intrinsic maybe? No. Overall a bad hit here. Yeah, it was not that great. Maybe I should have gone to the right side there. Oh, there's a unit draft I'd like to take. Hopefully you see something good here. Drag bottom to get it killed as well as this one. That is on top with nothing else. Um, drag, drag, whiplash, blast in front. Concerning to not have a unit here. Train steward, blast, blast. Drop this, blast here, double train steward middle. Will I make out, make, get out of this? It's a bit hard to really say that. I think I should have played the titan's tooth there, that was a mistake.
bring out a drag maybe okay how much damage do we take here oh dear i just died on ring two need to play this a bit smarter i believe okay we clash here drag drag okay that was a mistake <laughs> I have a lot of mistakes today. Hmm. I might not get out of this. Ooh. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. Blast collector. Do that. Am I losing? Am I losing this recording right here? No, I'm dead. Can I get out of this? I'm at zero shards. Okay, this might be a recipe for victory. Okay, there you go. In a weird play of cards, we got through it. Um... I guess I could take Offering Token. A Draft might be good. A Lady of the House is also okay. Where's my scaling gonna come from though? I have Wicklash. Yeah, I could take the Lady. Hmm... I think I'd rather see the steel shop here. Quick. Quick multi infusion. A minus two on one of the wick lashes for a possible spell chain. 
infuse the giraffe into the lady. Intrinsic, I don't think is a play I'd like to make right now. Do I grab quick here? I think I should. Because it's shown. Check the cave. An X5. An X5 on Wick Clash is good. Okay, there's your scaling. So it's just clean up time here then. If I put an intrinsic there, that would have been awesome as well. Okay, so Lady Tethys. And then just play everything out. Probably. Get units killed. You don't want them in the deck or in the pool. Um, grab a drag and face tank. More whiplash action. Train steward to take some hits. Forgot to add quick. More whiplash action. Take some hits there. That's fine. Drag. Oh, I forgot about the sap. It's causing a bit of problem. There you go. Uh, an easy victory. Burnout extension. How about Devourer of Death? Don't have a tomb, and that's not a tomb. I think I skip here. Hmm. Do I want a shark? There's a dupe. Do I want a dupe for anything? Not really. Except if I want to do shark. I think I'd rather check the Horde and the Stygian Banner. Let's draw more cards. We go right. Removals are going to be trains towards here. Horde says... So there's your encased Ember. Hmm... I can see Remnant Host. So I think I'll grab Encased Ember here. Don't think these are the takes here. We skip. Check the champion. It's going to be Chillwind 2. And you move on. 15 armor. Hmm. Where am I going next? Steel shop? I have enough money right now. Mm. Yeah, I can take this. We're at 40 shards. We can take this. Um, Lady goes top with Tethys in the back. Double scale and blast in front. We get through almost everything. I want the money. Okay, we got through everything there. That's good. More scaling on the lady.
Relic. 15. Go down to 51. Yep. Okay, we're pushing through. Okay. Gets pushed up top. We scale a little more. Drag in front. Titan's tooth. And we take the victory. Okay, I think the quick take there was very good. It's allowing us to get the first hit on the enemies and it's panning out well for us i want to see some stealth though ice storm i'll skip here crushing demise so there's your vodivari there's your endless could grab that although i think i'd rather take this crushing demise here Let's go to the steel shop. Look for there that card. Multi strike. I'll grab plus twenty five on shark. Spin him. There's uh nothing to take here. Let's remove double train stewards here. They're not relevant to the run. Grab artifact. Ooh, there's your endless. It's gonna be for my shark. Okay, if we could see a tomb somewhere. Who do I wanna cut here? I think I wanna cut a frozen lands or two. Slim this deck down a bit and move on. Okay. Having endless feels very comfortable here. I'd want to dupe my unit as soon as possible to get six hits on the floor. Shark goes bottom, takes endless. Tethys drops in. I can play that there and have no problem. There's my lady. I drop her in. Place the drag behind. Shark. Scaling. Crushing middle. Decent. Okay, we're doing quite well. One dupe and this stabilizes, but I really want to see at least a form of defense like stealth. It would be nice to see here. Offering token into Titan's Tooth. Okay, more scaling. And Crystal Cloak is gonna get bodied by all of these units. Okay, I think we're good with one more replay of Shark. There you go. Okay, we got through Crystal Cloak with not too many of a problem. First problem we encountered was on Ring 2. We had quite a lot of resets there, but we're doing well enough right now. Still need to cut more cards out of this deck. Um, These cards are not going to be helpful. A second Vodivari. I don't have a way to kill the Vodivari, right? Nope. <sighs> no skip. Don't need it. Divine artifact is... I mean... I skip. Don't think I need the assistance. 
I'd like to do my lady. I could visit this magic shop right here. Which I think I'll prioritize. Over any other thing. Spell chain. There you go. Hmm. Where do I spell chain crushing demise? Kills two units. That kills two units. I'd like that. Removals are frozen lances. They are not relevant to this run. Is there an intrinsic here? It's a purge. Actually, could grab a purge. Double stack for more burnout. Plus 10 for a little more damage. Minus 1 on my crushing demise. Spell chain. Spin this. Ooh, a holdover. A holdover on... Hmm. How does molded feel? I'll grab the 20 consume. This minus one is gonna be placed on molded. And then the question is where do I put this holdover? I could hold over the wicklash, ensuring I scale 10 every turn. Or I could just hold over the offering token and draw through the deck faster although the deck does not have anything in particular that i really want to play out so i think i'll just place it on wicklash here and be happy with our current setup i could cut no i can't let's move on could cut actually by purging but i don't think it's necessary right now shark takes the endless i play lady into tethys blast someone out okay here's the scaling cards we found the holdover Okay, it's just, it's just a matter of just clicking all of the scaling options we have. Okay. Crush. Crush. Hmm. Okay, we clash here. Shark bottom. Molded. Back a drag. Place with shark. Okay, four scaling cards. This is. Okay. Okay, kill that. Kill something here. Okay, we're pushing. I think the damage is not a big problem here. It's more of currently I need extra hits on the floor. Which I'm currently waiting on based on what transpires here. Okay, shark drops. More scaling at top for the lady. Okay, little more scaling should help. There you go, we win.
Okay, we're at 30 minutes. We're kind of speed running the runs today, which is weird. Hmm. Hollowed halls. That's a way of healing my units. I think I'll take that. And I take draw. We go trinket shop. Anything I want to buy. Hmm. None in particular. Oh, extra damage. Thank you. Like that. Champion says, let's take a sweep. I can still do an infusion. I'll dupe my siren for 85, get some upgrades. Grab the money for some extra and we move on. We can take this. I have not seen any form of defense. Lady Tethys. Shark. Okay. Uh, let me replay that real quick. Forgot about that interaction. It should be shark first. And then lady. Into Tethys. We scale the lady. And then we hollowed host this floor. Okay. Sorry about the slight pause there. Crush middle. Scale top floor. Crush bottom. Drop to dregs. Drop shark bottom. Take the endless. Scale in top floor. Consume, drag, titan's gratitude. It's just a matter of playing all of this with clashes and occasionally playing hallowed halls to refresh. Okay. Shark drops. Scale Tethys in the back real quick. Dregs go bottom. Okay. This is gonna be a lot easier once we get a second lady because both of them will have quick. Let's play Hallowed Halls here. And then Titan's Gratitude Middle. We do not connect on Titan's Tooth. That's fine. We can scale our lady here. Scale the lady. Okay, a lot of units there. And the most important one here is the lady scaling. Okay, and then just scale a little more. And we're good. Okay. Pretty straightforward run, I would say. There's your remnant host. Mm. Don't need the harvest though. It's extra ember, but I don't need the ember. Stick wax and spike. It's scaling. 
we go right for a second copy of our lady. What do we have in the magic shop? A holdover. A second holdover. On hallowed halls, maybe? I do have a minus two on that hallowed halls. I like this. This is... Yeah, sure. I like that. Tenon piercing. I could put that on Titan's tooth. Um, the dupe is the lady for sure. Wait, check the middle shop first. Ooh, there's light stone casing here. Hmm. Okay, let's do the lady for sure. That's a correct option. Hold over on hallowed halls for sure. Plus 10 on the other titan's gratitude. Minus 1 on wax and spike. Power that a bit. Permafrost. Think I'll freeze the titan's tooth here. This other plus 10 goes on Titan's Gratitude. This other minus 1 is on Wax and Spike. Nothing left in the Magic Shop. Lightstone Casing. Don't think I need this for anything in particular. Unless I want a Tenon Piercing inside my Titan's Tooth. Nah, I don't want to add damage to the boss. Mm. I think that worn grindstone is decent enough. And I think grabbing the precious plating is also good enough. Yeah, I'll grab that. Extra buffer of HP to take some extra hits on the pyre in case we leak anything. And I think this should be enough to win. Okay. Shark. Tethys. Hallowed Hulls. Crush. Crush again. Get this unit out. Okay, I found my lady. But before that, shark first. Lady into scaling, into drag, drag. Play out hallowed halls. And then Titan's Gratitude. Okay. Hmm. I scale the one in front. Shark gets this. Lady of the house goes here to die. They hollow the house top floor. Play Titan's Tooth. Okay, I can probably fit the second lady at top floor. Now. Okay, it's hallowed halls again here. Okay, so we got both ladies in. Let's start scaling them. Okay, we spill some damage into the boss. This is what you like sometimes with Monster Train. Uh, uh, a pretty straightforward run without any big complicated things to do. Okay, my Tethys is not here.
hallowed halls. I need to get rid of some of these guys here. Because I'm not getting the units I want. Let's pull something out of the reform pool. And then we play shark. And then hallowed halls. There you go. A lot decent. More decent. Than the previous setup that we had. Ooh. We're almost through this actually. I think I'm fine with the setup. Drop this units in. Okay, I think we win this for sure. Yeah, I see the big red X. Okay, we can't save the other lady, but we do get the victory here. I think the... Hallowed Hall is important for some minor HP scaling for the ladies. Aside from that, the damage coming from all the wick lashes from the X5 is enough to put us afloat in terms of how much damage we're dealing. Take Shark Bottom, play Tethys, hold over the Waxen Spikes, Titan's Gratitude. Oh dear, I drew through the Hollowed Halls. I think we'll draw back through. Lady, Lady, Scale, Scale, start scaling. Okay, let's continue scaling. Let's crush things in bottom. Okay, I will play three dregs. I can blast someone there. Okay, keep the scaling going. Am I leaking that guy? Okay, I don't think I scaled my units properly. Okay, I... <laughs> I think I need to use some form of brain power here. Okay, okay. Let's not rush through things. Shark goes bottom. Tethys goes top. And get scaled. Um, offering token into this card. And then I play Hallowed Halls. Okay, this is the scaling that I was looking for. Shark goes bottom here. Lady, Lady. Scale. Hallowed Halls. There you go. Then don't ever play the dregs out so this does not become messed up. Okay, I get to kill the light wings there which is a bit important. And then you play hollow the halls here. Okay. I think this is much more organized and true to the goal that we're having. I play shark middle and then hollow the halls up top and then titan's tooth middle okay now that i'm thinking a little more about this we are able to play it out more effectively this is not clearing things so let's replay all of them um i'm taking 110 this is 285 
Okay, I leak one of them. I think that has to be fine. Need to punch more numbers into the front unit here. Play Titan Sentry bottom. Hallowed Halls. Okay. Front unit is 165 by 3. I think that's strong enough. Yeah, it gets through the two bosses here. 290 means 145 is the required number. I can... Crush bottom here. 222. I think I'll crush middle. Then bottom. Hollowed Hall stop floor just to refresh everything. Okay, punch the numbers here. Shark goes bottom. Okay, I shouldn't play Hollowed Halls just because the lady got endless there. Okay, Titans chill. Whew. Um, I think I'm fine with the setup that this is going to have. I'll remove the curses. Shark bottom. Scaling in front. Chill. Okay, and we should take the victory here after I replay everyone. Oh dear, what happened there? Did I press something accidentally? Okay. <laughs> I think I'm rushing through things too fast. Okay. Shark first. And then Lady, Lady, Hallowed Halls. And then Scale, Scale, Scale. Okay. Replay Shark. Replay Hallowed Halls. Okay. Crush. Crush. Play Shark Middle. Titan's Tooth. Play Hallowed Halls. Then we clash. Okay. Okay, what's next? I need to play Shark Bottom. Then I play Hallowed Halls here. Hmm. Who's hitting for 140? 7, 14, 21. There you go. Okay, we cleared through everything. Let's not turn off the brain too much. Okay, that's a mistake again. I should have played shark first. Um... I think I play Crushing Demise here. And another. 
Then... Hallowed Halls. Wait. Let the drag grab the Endless and then play the Hallowed Halls. Then scale. Then I should be able to get my other lady this turn. But before that, I need to get the Endless on a different unit. Okay, that's good. Then Hallowed Halls this one. I think Shark's gonna be here. Well, okay, yeah, Shark is here. Oof. Hmm. Get rid of Shark from the pool. Play Shark bottom. Then I hollowed Halls. Burn out. Burn out. Okay, and I think they should win. Right? There you go. I don't know what happened a while ago, but something happened. We take the victory. Whew. But this was a melting run, technically, not a stygian run. So, no incant learning here. I mean, melting is very powerful as a clan. So, don't think I need too much practice with melting. It's stygian that I really need help on. There's a second winning streak. So Lady with three hits uh, through the help of Draft and Fusion with Quick and Multi. Um, and we didn't have any defensive cards aside from us playing Hallowed Halls every turn to refresh the HP of uh, units. And then we also had the next five on Wick Clash. Um, it would have been better if we could have had extra upgrades on that, but... Having six quick lashes, giving 10 extra damage per use is very powerful. So leave a like or a dislike, guys, if you enjoy the video. And I regularly stream on Twitch if you want to catch me there doing these things live. And as always, guys, remember, Sage today. Thank you very much for watching.